humanity, or good afternoon, good evening, or the middle of the night, wherever you are. <laughs> I am Papa D. That's my name today with my clown nose on. That's my name today with my clown nose on. The reason I'm like this is because I just finished doing two shows back to back with kids that were five and six years old on Zoom. And oh my gosh, we had so much fun. And then I had to race here. Like, I mean, like totally race here to do this live show with you guys. So here I am. But I haven't had time to take my nose off or anything. So I'm going to take my nose off and I'm going to tell you a story because this is a totally awesome story about someone who followed their dreams. Should I take my clown nose off? What do you think? What do you think? No. Okay. I'll leave my clown nose on. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a Canadian actor <clears throat> and his name was Jim Carrey. Now, this story is about following your dreams, using your imagination, feeling everything in your entire body, never giving up and knowing that what you want will come true. You'll release it, but you know that. So Jim Carrey is Canadian and he was working at a stand-up comedy club. He'd done a few different, you know, films and whatnot, and they weren't anything big. He started out actually in Canada with something called Copper Mountain in 1983. And he thought, man, you know what? I really, really want to be able to make some money. And he would think about it and dream about it. And then he had an idea. <clears throat> and that idea was he was going to write himself a check. Jim Carrey, you ready for this? $10 million from the infinite, that infinite that out there, for services rendered as an actor. Now, come on. Jim Carrey, like, hello. Nobody knew that he was like, you know, rubber face, didn't know he was talented, didn't know all these kinds of things. But he knew and he knew that that's what he wanted to do. And so he wrote this check. He folded it up. He put it in his pocket. He was living down in L.A. at the time. And he went out to Hollywood on the hills, the Holland Hills, and he would look out. He would take that check out and he would read it. And he would come from that place where in his mind and in his heart, he knew that he had signed a deal for $10 million, for $10 million for a film. And he went there every day and he visualized that he came from that dream. And of course, you might think it's kind of dumb, it's kind of stupid, but he believed in that. Now, you have to remember at this point in time, no actor anywhere in the world had been paid 10 million US dollars for a film. So this goes on, he still believes in it, he's still doing a number of films, and then, just as he visualizes, he goes into the office and he signs that check. I don't know. He doesn't sign the check. He signs that contract for $10 million. And Jim Carrey becomes the first actor ever to make $10 million on a film. And go figure, that film was called Dumb and Dumber. Jim Carrey has made 30 odd films. Well, they're not odd. Well, they are a little odd, <laughs> but they're fantastic. So here was a man who followed his heart, followed his dream, felt it, heard it, saw it, did everything, went there and read that check. He came from that dream. And so I want to share with you that when you have a dream and it's a burning desire and it's a longing. I longed to do silly things like be a clown, to make people happy. And now we have something here in Oroville and in India called Medi Clown Academy. And we are training people to go into hospitals 
to go into corporate environments, to go into schools, and right now go into Zoom on schools, to bring laughter, joy, and play, and to make the planet a better, better place. So just like Jim Carrey wrote that check for $10 million from the infinite, and just as I knew that I would be a clown, and I would be doing things that would shift people's perception and bring joy. You can do that too. And the awesome thing is, is when we laugh and we release this. So we are going to be laughing with 10 million bucks in our pocket all the way to the bank. Okay. And so I've got Stefano here and I have Mael here behind the camera and everyone here on the other side of the station. And we are going to laugh our way out and feel knowing that you have got all that abundance on the count of three. And don't forget to subscribe and let's enjoy life and feel the abundance coming in. <laughs> let's show them. <laughs> feel that money. It is a raining money. <laughs>